All right, so this video is for Programming Challenge 75, Dorm and Meal Plan Calculator. And it is, suppose the university has the following dorms and prices. So that's Allen Hall, 2,500 per semester, Pike Hall, 2,200, Farthing, 2,100. And university suites 2800 and they also have a meal plan seven meals a week for 1560 and oh I got to change the program to say 1560 I just had it say 1500 it's all right so 20 2095 and 2500 create two forms one that looks like this and the second one it looks like this and when you click add it should put the total in here okay so let's see what i did um, so i made the first one with a group box here and a group box here and a list box in the collections in the list box i put 2500 2200 21 which is what is from the the, the uh, list box instructions and i put a label three of them and labels to hold the info from these then i made another form here by going up to here right clicking and click what's where is that right clicking whoops it's not the right one clicking and add form windows forms which i did and that was the meal plan form and so put a group box here list box here i got to change the, the collections in the list box here to one of them was this was fifteen sixty. So fifteen sixty. Oops. Oops. Oh. Okay. So I'll have to change that in the code too. So if we go back to the code and most of it's programmed in this one on the ad so change this to 1560 that should change so these are global variables in uh, that i put i put the meal plans as global variables here meal plan two the universe uh unlimited meal plan here and then I put the variables for the, the halls. So this is this is for Allen Hall, Pike Hall, Farthing Hall, and University Suites. And then I made a variable for the total and a variable for the subtotal, but I don't think I used it. I made these decimals because I wanted to change them over to currency, which I did later. This closes the form. The second form it just hides it so that's what that is close that form and let's run it just to see i i made a, a global function but i didn't need to use it where i was going to make the totals here in a module but i, I don't it's not used in here so so let's go ahead and save it and run it and see how it works really quick so you select You select one of your, okay, we'll select Pi Call. You add the dormitory, okay, well, let's add some meals here. And we're going to add, let's add the 1560, add the meal plan, and it comes out correct. So we clear the form, add, actually, we can just view the meal plan and we can add them all together at the same time. Add meal plan. 
So you see how it added the meal plan and the hall, but it didn't add the dormitory. So you got to add the dormitory here. So I don't know if that's a bug or not, but normally I just click add dormitory first. So if you do the add dormitory and you got the add dormitory, you got your meal plan, view meal plan. Add meal plan. So that adds this and this and the total here. So this takes this here and this here and adds it. So let's see how that works. Oh no, kitty, kitty, no, you're not gonna be in here right now. I can hear you purring. So what I did, oh, let's look at the dormitory on the ad. So on the dormitory, we did the, if it's negative on the list box, dorms is negative, then we get a message box, nothing is selected. You must select the dormitory. And the, this is where you format to the currency, change this to a currency and change your variable to a currency. And that, and there's two types to this. Is, this is the visual basic way is format currency. So that's the second one. This is the third one. And this is the fourth one. And that's for the, the dorms. And this is the view, the meal plans here. So we'll go to the meal plan now. And in the meal plan, same type of thing. If nothing is selected, then if the dorm, the meal plan one is selected, and your total is your first meal plan. If the index, this is the second meal plan. And then this is the last meal plan, the unlimited meal plan. And this is the dot net way of formatting the current uh, formatting for currency, which is what I did here. And then you calculate, I, we didn't, I didn't, I was going to use a Boolean, but I didn't need to do it. So outside of the ifs for your meal plan statements here, then you do, and you can, I mean, you could, there's a number of ways you could do that. You could put this all in a function, which is kind of, I don't know, it's one way of doing it. But the way I did it was I just did if statements with selected index for, so this is the first selected of the dorms. So that was the first dorm selected and the first meal plan selected. Then the total is the Allen Hall plus the first meal plan. Else if it's the Pike Hall selected and the first meal plan selected, then it's this. So I did that for each one selected in either of the, uh, the list boxes. So that's when they're, the first one of each list box is selected. And that's when the dorm for the dorm selected. That's the university suites and the first meal plan. That's Allen Hall on the second meal plan, Pike Hall on the second meal plan, Farley Hall on the second meal plan, University Hall on the second meal plan, Allen Hall on the unlimited meal plan, Pike Hall on the unlimited meal plan. Farthing Hall in the unlimited mill plan in the university suites in the unlimited mill plan. So let's look at that a bit more. The slower of that. I mean, there, if you look at this, there's a number of ways you can do it. <clears throat> this just seemed like the easiest way for me to do it <clears throat> with the information that I had and the time I had because I have to do graphic design homework after I get done doing this video. So. I was, I was kind of rushed for the amount of time I actually had. So these are the if statements with their, and they are, are and if statements. So each one is an and if statement, and then it's an else if, let me see that. And then it, they're all else ifs all the way down to 
we finished doing all of them there. So you have four list options in the dorm, uh, the dorm selection list box, and you have three list box options for the meal plan list box. And that's what I did. So then you take whichever one of these is, is your list option and that takes and formats it to your currency string for your total here and that's a currency so it formats it for a currency to c sharp which c sharp is just java for windows so if you know how to program java then c sharp is microsoft's attempt at java so it's also a .NET framework and java so if you wonder what that is behind me, that's my new bed that came in the mail today from amazon.com. Then you gotta hide the form, the second form that we were on the, um, the meal plan. And you gotta show the first form and you gotta end it. So if we run it again, and this is the center, the University of Swedes added, see that adds correctly. And then we view our meal plan that and boom to clear it by call add dormitory view meal plan and unlimited meals that works uh, farthing in add dormitory view meal plan and and that all works correctly so anyway that's uh, programming challenge 7-5 for Visual Basic uh, it, for um, Introduction to Visual Basic, uh, Shasta College, Kip Irvine and Anthony Gaddis uh, are the the book or the textbook instructors or textbook writers, I should say. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, I'll probably get to the rest of it tomorrow because i have graphic design homework to do now so anyway thanks for watching bye